Okay, so let's start. How to start drawing bodies. For me, the first thing is looking at bodies. Um, I got these from a Graffiti Studio uh, sample pack, so just so everybody is aware. So I like to just look at the body. I would begin with stick figures. I mean, these are really simple, and I'm going to teach you about um, a lot of these arcs and things right here because I find these really important. I think that drawing things this simply will really help you fix these proportions when you make a mistake. And I would look at these arcs and I would look at these proportions and I would study them. Not just what I've done, I think you should definitely look at things yourself. I know that people look down on tracing, but if you see what I've done here on this side, this is just to correct myself when I make something too long. I can see what looks correct. So little easy stick figure tips, the head down to here, okay, is going to be about the same length as the leg down to the bottom of the foot. And that just makes it really easy when you're making someone standing. We're going to be like, okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take those off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly draw over the top of these so that we can learn these proportions ourselves. Um, this right here is going to help us as well. So I'm not going to add too much detail to the head yet. There's our neck, just the line. It's just going to go to the little pit right here for now. We're going to go across. We're going to ignore this muscle. That's the trapezius muscle, and we, we don't care about him yet. Now we're just going to draw our line. I'm just going to go all the way to the crotch for right now. And we'll draw lines up like a little arrow. And so instead of just saying the crotch is the midpoint because that doesn't help us with everything that's going on up here. I would do the little lines and I would say about here, about here, it's not perfect. That is the bottom of our rib cage. And so I would just mark that just with a line because when you curve the body like I did here, you can draw that as a curve just like this to show the perspective that these are in even as stick figures. So then for the legs, I'm going to go down and this here is pretty much a halfway point at the knee down to the foot and uh, you don't even have to add the foot, you can just spike it out because it's not important right now. So, we want to draw this all the way across to where the shoulder kind of ends here, even though our arm connects up in here. And we're just going to hit this point, which this will be at our rib cage, which is why that point is so important. I still pay attention to this because of the arc that you can create and it can go in just about any area to show you where your arm's going to be whenever you move it. So I just want you to keep that in mind for now. And this will go down roughly the same, okay, until you hit the hand. And again, just like with the feet, you can just spike this out, but I would say mark where this is. I'm just gonna arc this one out this way, even though he's clearly not doing that. Okay, so we're just arcing from this wrist. These are really important. They just really help when you're not sure what something's doing. So arcs are very, very helpful in my opinion. And so from the back, um, the difference here is that the shoulders are going to appear rounded. And instead of doing this, I'm just going to arc this up so we have something more like this. And we will draw our line down. Okay, 
So the reason I want to do a back view is so that you can see um, the whole crotch line thing. It can still work here. The only difference is that I curve it out like this because that is what your pelvis actually does in the back um, in simple terms. Anyway, <laughs> you're just gonna pull it out like this instead of this where it feels more like that. You're just gonna curve it in slightly. And you can still do this and get basically the rib cage. I'm gonna say basically as often as I can because you should really figure out these proportions for yourself and then we want to meet it as far up as we can here. Um, ignore his clothes, as difficult as that is, because he would actually come in kind of like this. So we're going to go down here. There's the back of your knee, down, your ankle, your foot. Remember the... Okay, I would really like you to remember that. It's so helpful. <laughs> And I do this whenever I'm having a hard time keeping things in proportion because, like I said, this kind of thing, it's so easy. Oh, you messed up his stick elbow. Wow. It's fine. You can fix it. It's so easy. Now for the side view. So the reason that this gets kind of difficult, uh, you don't have to actually draw the cranium if you don't want to, but it does help whenever you whenever you draw the back of it so you know so you know it's very clear that it's the side view. And I learned from Steve Houston. He does this and it goes all the way back to meet it like a triangle. And there's only a part of the head that you have to put back in after that. And so if you just want to do it simply to show that it's a side profile, you can do that and it works really well. And I definitely recommend his videos and his book. You're looking at this, maybe you're having a hard time with the line. And I just want to say that this usually curves this way and the pelvis curves this way. So what I would do with my line and this is not the spine, this is not me drawing the spine, it is just a line to connect the all of the little ideas. I'm just going to pull it like this, and I'm still going to do our little crotch area, which is here. And this, what, what I usually do for the shoulders, still stands. That X still stands. Rib cage down to here. We are going to do some figure drawing using this. If you're really new to it, you do not have to... I know people kind of push it. Um, you don't have to time yourself. When I do the first figure drawing of the day, I don't time myself. I let it take as long as it needs to. Okay, so I'm going to move to these now. Okay, just very simple ideas, very simple arcs. You can pull the leg this way, just knowing where the joints go. And just practice moving it, curving it, figuring out how this works before moving on to trying to use it for the figure drawing. Understand that your head is probably going to end up bigger or smaller when you're not drawing off of something because you're not actually, we're not drawing the skull yet. We're just drawing a shape to ah, indicate it, I guess. Okay, and down. See, and this is where we're drawing that. This is where that shape is coming from, and this is why I'm using these. Because eventually you do, the next step really would be to add in the rib cage and and uh, this curve and stuff that these bones naturally have. That's why I'm having to draw off of people. Since that went all the way across. There's our elbow and down. There's our elbow and down. Don't worry about making mistakes either. They're there so that you can learn that there are the, those mistakes to be made and then fix them. Correct them yourself.
You can do it. I believe in you. And um, please uh, look up a lot of this stuff for yourself, and and look at what other more experienced people do, and people who have. This is why I do this. People who have more experience teaching as well. I was telling you about that curving out. So you don't have to follow that, you can do a straight line if you need to. So make sure I'm staying true to what I said. I have worked past this point a few times because you always are going to be relearning. You'll get rusty and you'll have to do it again. That's just. Oh yeah, watch this. Watch how great this is. How he does it. How much it covers. Nor most they go. So, it just takes off this much. Isn't that cool? moving his arm back so you can still see that line. Feel free to do overlapping ones in a different color so that later on when you look at the pose you're not like, what was our drawing? You can also draw a line between these if you need to, just draw it like this. That is completely fine it'll be about a little square down. You can find those comparisons yourself. Okay, so you can see how simple these are when you begin to move them let me do this really quick see that? But that should be about the crotch to the head um, so that should be roughly the same from the feet to the head like the, for the legs up, just in case you're drawing your legs too long, which I still occasionally do, and that's why I go back to this. Whenever you're going to draw your bodies moving forward and overlapping themselves, it can get difficult, because if they're doing something like leaning forward, um, it just, uh, you start worrying that it's not going to be very clear when you're using this kind of thing. So I would do your little square and find it and just roll it forward like this. Just a little tiny arc. You don't have to take it all the way up here, but you can if you want to. That would be your rib cage, very basically. And then you would just take your legs as usual. And then you can measure from the knee out, which is going to be almost the same, to the feet. And then you're going to measure them like this to make sure that's a proper line. They should fit pretty close. Connect that all the way down there. And the line should be the same, very roughly, in something like this. And we'll figure out more about that whenever we're doing kind of the perspective on mm, like shapes, more shapes.
you can see that and then it's the same thing if someone's bending back you're just going to change these curves the other way um, let me think I think Grizzen Norm is it? I hope I said that right they have stuff about about these I think a lot of people do because you're just basing it off of a cylinder that would be doing this so it just changes these shapes and this part would technically be the bottom of the ribcage which would be here and this would be the pelvis which for us is just going to be our crotch triangle there's definitely going to be things that are going to be challenging about this but you can figure it out and once you start doing this you will start being able to build up very carefully until you can exaggerate to the point that you would like to get to so just want to put this out here before doing the gesture drawing because I want you to know what you're looking for when the body moves and I think when we do do the gesture it'll make that a lot more clear that is a very simple way to explain these proportions you can do the eight heads you can do these boxes here for simple proportions um, bottom of the rib cage to the elbows things like that um, fingers being you know out there things like that that are very simple easy to remember and hopefully this helps you when we move on to the next part which is the gesture drawing I will put these um, I'll do a couple more here on the bottom and I will save these as pictures and I will put them on my gum road for free so you can just look at them download them whatever you need to do have them up as reference when you're doing your gestures if you need to uh, I do recommend trying to make your own though and you can compare them to mine if you'd like so just remember you can do them just about any way you would like so yeah I'm gonna leave you with that and that's how we're going to start drawing bodies
that you have is nothing more than a system of wires and circuits. It can show feelings only to the extent of which you program it to. It will be your friend no more than the table you built it on will be.